Hi, Brother Bryce here. I'm going to talk about our Storyline game templates and how easy it is to change the number of questions, the acceptable passing percentage, the question types for each question, and an all-over look and feel for the game. So let's get started by going into the library here. As we navigate to the library, uh, go to Activities, Storyline Games, and as you can see, there's quite a variety of different games. Let's go, uh, go ahead and uh, select Delivery this time. And along with this, uh, this template, you will find, uh, let me just continue that because there's music playing in my ears. Uh, you'll find two different downloads, a story template as well as the PSD for the logo of the game. So I'm going to go ahead and download both of those. Okay, now that I have those opened, I can go ahead and open it in Storyline. Now these templates were built in Storyline 2, so, or excuse me, Storyline 1. So when if you do open it up in Storyline 2, you'll just have to upgrade. So if you select Upgrade, it will upgrade that project from a Storyline 1 to Storyline 2. So as it opens, it will show you the three different slides that the template has. What you want to select is all three slides. Okay, uh, I just hit con or shift and selected all of them that way, and then import. Now that we're in the game, we can see there's uh, quite a variety of different triggers, actions, and I'm going to separate these here for us just to kind of help it, uh, help you see a little bit more of, of the variables. I do love how Storyline 2 has been able to, to give you the option to undock these, um, these elements here. So that has been a real awesome feature, which I, which I really do like. But uh, let's go ahead and start with uh, how you change the amount of questions used in the course or in the, in the game. Now, uh, this so this is the variable that you'd want to change for that. This currently is only uh, going to show 10. However, there is the ability, and you do have the ability to, sh to show up to 20. So this is really the only number you have to change for how many questions you want the user to go through until they, they reach the end of the game and uh, show the results slide. So uh, if I modify that to 20, uh, 5, I could even modify it to 1 if I want. Uh, but whatever, whatever you want, 1 through 20, uh, change, change it there. Uh, and then the points per question can be changed here too. So that can be kind of an added bonus as well. Uh, it's set uh, automatically to 100, uh, but you can change that for whatever you want. Uh, and then also the passing percentage. Uh, we we uh, made it default to 80. However, you, if you want the user to um, get all of the questions before they pass, all the questions right before they can pass, simply put in 100, and that means 100%. Okay? So, um, so that's simple to change those type of variables. Hmm. Okay, still there. Um, now, uh, when we get into the game, let's let's select this here. And again, I'm going to undock this layer group. And uh, again, I'm in the second slide of the uh, of the template here. And now I can see a bunch of different layers in that slide. Let me just expand it a little bit more. Okay, one of the uh, one of the layers are um, is one of the set variables layer. Okay, so if I select one of the set set variables layers, um, I will be able to change the, uh, the the question type for each question. So, for instance, this Q1 set variables is for question one. So if I go here and see um, and change this variable to true, this now will enable this question, question one, to be a multiple response question, uh, meaning that you know you can get multiple responses out of that one question, and uh, false is just making it a multiple choice. 
Uh, also, another option you can do is change the amount of answer choices that the user will be able to have. So it's up to four, but uh, you could change it back down to uh, two, and that would make it a true and false type of question. Or you could do a three answer choice uh, question as well. Let's keep it at four. But then, uh, and then you can also change the correct answer. So um, A through D, uh, select the one that you want, the ones that you want false or incorrect, uh, and then the one true for for correct. So if we go to then the question one layer, we can now see uh, A, B, C, and D a little further down the line, uh, and this is the correct answer as it shows in the text as well as in uh, the variables here. Okay, now uh, I also wanted to talk about how you can change the overall look and feel of the course. Now, uh, say if you wanted to change this question uh, or the, uh, the buttons to a different type of button style. Let me redock this here if I can. There we go. Um, so if I wanted to change the color of these, all I need to go in to do is make it red. If I wanted to make it red and change the different states, right? So this one, I want a little darker. Let's go a little darker red. Now, these are awful colors, but you get the idea. I can change it to whatever I want. Done editing. Then all I need to do is come up to the Format Painter uh, option here, double click on it. And when I double click on it, now I have the ability to multiple select any items that I want, any of the items that I want. So I would have to go through uh, each question and do that to each of the, uh, the answer choices. Okay. So, so that's how you change that. But say if you wanted to change the background, background is a little bit easier to change. Uh, the other way did take a little bit of effort. So if you wanted to change the background, all you need to do is go to the master slides and now say I, I want a different color of background. I'll just move this to the side, bring this down so I can see better. View, fit to window. So if I wanted to make a blue background, right? Whatever color I wanted, or put in a new uh, image entirely. I could do that as well. But all I need to do is change it in the master slide, then go back out, close master slides. Now, uh, all my backgrounds have been changed. So, uh, so really that easy to, to be able to change the different types of backgrounds and uh, the colors. Uh, of the uh, buttons and um, and text boxes would be the same way to change those uh, those buttons. So uh, that concludes the uh, the tutorial on uh, the game storyline game templates. I hope this helped you out and uh, give it a try and and have fun with it.